Hi, and welcome to It's Simply Computing. So last time we looked at VLANs, and one of my viewers actually pointed out that when I was going through the setup process for VLANs, that I chose the wrong interface. And I'm going to show that real quick here. On the video I said, make sure you take note of which interface you wanted to put the VLANs on. In our case, we wanted to put VLANs on EM1, which was for LAN. Instead, as you can see, they're all on EM0. So I just wanted to point that out, that that is wrong. This is saying that the VLANs are coming in from our wide area network, and not on our local area network, which could be a problem if you're trying to set this up for internal use. So let's go ahead and take a look at our limiters today. Limiters are a fun little thing. Um, we're going to go see if I can pull up my lab here. All right, this, isn't lab. this is actually my production environment again. So one thing that I have a problem with is my brain is literally wired a different way than most people. And sometimes I can have a problem trying to understand and grasp some of these concepts. One problem I have is this whole in and out. As you can see here, we got bytes in and bytes out. Now on WAN, it's fairly simple when you're looking at just uh, your WAN and your local network. You know, the stuff coming in from the internet, going out to your local network. So you're downloading through that. So bytes in and then out. And then the other way around, you're uploading from here, from your local network, out to the internet. So in and out. Downloads, uploads. However, when it comes to setting up your limiters, it gets a little confusing. I want to show you that here real quick. Slide up. Let's see. Go under Traffic Shaper. Click on Limiter. And here you can see I already have two, well, four limiters set up, but basically for two networks. We have the public down, public up, and then this other network here I have for down and up. So we have a public Wi Fi network, and we want to make sure that someone doesn't just sit outside and use it and download all of his torrents and music and videos and all that kind of stuff and use up all our bandwidth. If I click on public down, We'll see that we it's 682 kilobits per second. Public up, 356. And that is to deter abuse of our Wi-Fi public network. And if I go into firewall and rules, go to our Wi-Fi public, and Edit that. Scroll down to limiters. And this is where things got interesting for me. The ins and outs are very confusing to me. The way, just the way my brain is wired. I don't know why. This is a huge sticking point for me. So this is how it's set up. I'm hoping this will help somebody. When you're doing an upload, you're uploading in from from the Wi-Fi public network so in this case from my local area network I am uploading in to the firewall and then downloading is going out to the Wi-Fi public network or my local land okay finally got that out I got those words out I don't know why it's so hard for me personally to understand this it's a, it's a very simple concept but hopefully my pain will help someone else with this so again in from your LAN and out to your LAN so that's where public uploading or your upload limiter and then your download limiters go in that order in relation to the ins and out and then you hit save and all the other fun stuff so let's go ahead and get minimize that and here in our lab, 
Okay, so in order to make it just a little easier, see interface statistics. So click and drag and move that over here. So here we can see in relation to the in and out. you can get a better idea of how that works. Um, it's, I use that as my own reference is what I'm trying to say is I use it. I, I use interface statistics as a reference to the relation between in and out between WAN, LAN and other interfaces as seen by my lab here. I use that all the time to get a good clear understanding of where all the traffic is going, where it's coming from, and how to set up my limiters and other interface controls. So now that we have that set up, let's go into uh, Firewall and Traffic Shaper. We go to Limiter, Create New Limiter, and we'll call this one uh, Land Up. And people only need two megabits uh, no scheduler on both Hit save we'll actually enable it as well Oops. enable save then apply changes there we go and then create a new limiter We're going to enable it if we land down And we, we will allow them to download up to 10 megabits per second. That's fine. Save, apply. And now we can go over here to Firewall, Rules. And here we have all of our land. You can go out, any, out anywhere we want it to go. So we're going to edit that little bugger and uh, let's see in out here it is so again in is up out is down so we're going in from our LAN and out to our LAN so in out in out hit save apply those changes and I actually do not have any computers configured on my lab right now to connect through this I'm actually preparing my systems to convert to overt and I'm planning on doing some videos about that so that would be fun and I hope that this video helped if you have any questions post it down in the comment section I have started a new job and it's taking up a lot of my time so I will try my best to get back on here and any suggestions or anything that you want to see, let me know and that way I have a better idea of what videos to make. I do so much better when someone tells me, hey, Michael, do this. Okay, I can do it. No problem. So until next time, keep it simple.